boys and girls. Welcome to our English lesson. You just caught me drinking my favorite drink. Can you guess what it is? It's hot, it's brown, but it's not coffee. Can you guess what it is? Mmm. That's right, it's hot cocoa. That's my favorite drink. In today's English lesson, we're going to learn about recipes. So if you're ready, let's get right to it. We will continue learning about nonfiction text using recipes. Remember, nonfiction is real information that we can get from either books, from travel guides, from newspapers, magazines, posters, and of course, the internet. Now, the internet is a huge tank of information, but for today's lesson, I would like us to make a simple recipe for hot cocoa. So when you write a recipe, remember, all you need to write is the ingredients that you use and the simple way to combine those ingredients to make your special recipe. I will demonstrate now by writing on a whiteboard and you can watch and afterwards, you can try to write down your own recipe of your favorite drink for your teacher. Okay, so let's get started. First, we will begin with our ingredients. So, cocoa powder, of course, for hot cocoa. We will also require some milk. I love full fat milk, yummy. And then, I like to put some marshmallows on it. So I just put some num nums, sprinkle on top of my hot cocoa, and that's my recipe. So let me demonstrate a, re a recipe to all of you. So let's get my whiteboard. The objective is that we know that we can get real information or non-fiction text from books. That's the objective of this lesson. So in today's lesson, we are going to use recipes. You can write recipes for anything. I've written a recipe for hot cocoa. You can write a recipe for your favorite drink, your favorite cake, your favorite cupcake. And let's say you don't want to write all the words because the words are too big. All you have to do is, remember when we made a story map? All you have to do is do a drawing. So I can draw, for example, I can draw a box of milk. So because it's milk, I can just put a label there to say milk. And then this goes in cocoa powder. So I can have here another box. And I can copy cocoa off my box. So I can just copy the spelling off there, cocoa. So the milk and the cocoa. Let's use a plus sign because it's and, so the milk and the cocoa equals <laughs> my cup of hot cocoa. Let me draw a nice cup there. There's the hand. And because it's hot, I'm just gonna make it steamy. There's some steam over there. That's nice. That's another way to write a recipe, which is really, really easy. So it's just milk, cocoa, and hot. Ooh, we forgot to add marshmallows. So let's add marshmallows. There we go. So that's another recipe for hot cocoa. Now you can think of fun and interesting recipes that you can send to your teacher. Remember, it doesn't have to be hot cocoa. Hot cocoa is just my favorite drink. It could even be mud pies. Ooh. You could do something really wacky like mud pies. So let's make a mud pie recipe. So for mud pies, the first thing we do, let's write the title, mud pies. Mud pies. Mud. Mm -hmm. I like mud pies. Mud pies. Let me write that properly for you. Mud pies. And of course our eye diagrams. So mud pie, because I'm making, let me make one so it's singular, mud pie. So the first thing we need is 
mud. So number one, mud. Let's get some sticky mud there. Let me draw something muddy. Ooh. If you have brown color, you have to make sure to color that brown. So mud, and then number two, plus, we will need water, of course. So let's have some water. So let me draw a bowl, and in my bowl, there'll be water in it. So some mud, some water. So remember, we're just using the labels if you don't want to write the whole sentence like I did the first time. This is an easier way of writing a recipe. So the mud and the water equals... What else should we put in our mud pies? Hmm, maybe some pebbles. Let's put some pebbles as well. The pebbles are little stones. And then let's make a nice bowl of mud pie. Ooh, delicious. Well, not for eating, of course, but... Pebbles, and here's my mud pie. Mud pie. So remember, the objective of this lesson is that we can get information about how to make food from books. So here's a book, a cookbook you can use to get information. You can search on the internet. All right, so these are different ways to get nonfiction text. Nonfiction is text that is real and text that gives you information. We are simply making recipes to show how to make a real real dish or something real like a mud pie for your teacher so that's the purpose of this lesson using recipes to learn about non-fiction text i'm looking forward to see what wacky recipes you can come up with or maybe some of your favorite recipes see you later bye